Hey Grenada, what's happening? I understand there's 7,500 blocks to explore. That's the amount of blocks where oil could be sitting in Grenada's waters. We look at all of this and more in this video. This guy right here on the screen, his name is Dan Goti. Of course, he is like a billionaire in Africa, Nigeria actually, oil, cement, among the likes. But keep an eye on him. We'll come back to his story pretty soon. But it appears that Grenadians are upset that Nigerians will be dealing with oil in Grenada. They do not like it. They don't trust Nigerians. That's what they're saying. That's a big discussion taking place on social media. But let's just do what the prime minister has to say about the oil. So the oil and gas uh, technical working group that has been appointed has been feverishly at work. Um, as you'd appreciate, one of the challenges we faced was ensuring that we were satisfied that we had all of the documentation pertaining to uh, this issue. Um, and their work, therefore, has been ongoing. Um, they have retained a legal consultant. They've required some... Uh, They've also uh, retained some technical consultants um, and we have uh, sought in recent times to engage with uh, GPG. Um, so there's been some exchanges of correspondence uh, with them. We expect um, that in the coming months we will look to sit with them uh, and get a clear understanding of their understanding of the current contractual obligations that they have to us and all contractual obligations uh, that we have to them. Um, I want to point out though that uh, GPG would have been awarded certain blocks, um, but there are other blocks uh, within our territorial space uh, that we need to also look at. But in order to do so, we need to make sure that we put the right legislative policy uh, and uh, financial regulations in place uh, so that Grenadians can benefit. So it's, it's highly, it's, it's a lot of rigorous, highly technical work, hence the reason for a technical working group. Um, to be able to get us to the point where we can come back to the public to say this is what we found, this is what we understand the government's contractual obligations are, this is what we understand GPG's contractual obligations are, this is how we will expect to move forward. Or alternatively, if uh, we can't move forward, then to be able to advise us that we can't move forward. And as a result, those are the steps we need to be able to take to, to, to address. So the work is ongoing. Um, I would expect uh, that we would probably have members of the uh, technical working group uh, come back to the media with a full briefing uh, before the end of the year on the work it has done um, and the next steps in this uh, process. So you heard right there what the Prime Minister stated about the issue of oil. So there's still some way to go. But it appears that during his visit to Nigeria, Africa, he met with this guy. And it could be that a deal may have already been done. The visit aims at fostering yeah, a deeper trade collaboration, yeah. boosting bilateral ties, and exploring opportunities for stronger partnership with African nations. And it's not just for the refinery, but I think the wider Dangote group, uh, you've got fertilizer, you've got cement, uh, all of this is uh, needed in the Caribbean as well. Um, and so one of the things that we really need to do better in the developing world, in the black world, and between Africa and its diaspora, is to ensure that we could reorder the logistical and trading patterns that we've inherited from our for former colonial masters. So I think for us, uh, that's part of the reason I'm here to pursue the synergy, the partnership between uh, the diaspora and Africa, uh, between CARICOM and Africa. And so both in terms of the refinery, in terms of the uh, cement, in terms of the uh, fertilizer, um, and some of the other areas, we certainly think there's a fantastic opportunity to pursue. For the Dangote Group, the visit provides an opportunity for business expansion and possibility of buying crude from Grenada. Right, so you heard what was taking place in that video. So this guy, Dan Goti, he's really, really rich. Let's take a look at this. It says Dan Goti meets Grenada, PM, hints export of petroleum products to the Caribbean. And you heard most of it in the video. Dan Goti highlighted that Mitchell served not only as the Prime Minister of Grenada, but also as the Chairman of CARICOM. All right, he added that their discussions focus on establishing a deal that would involve importing crude oil from the Caribbean and selling petroleum products to the region. It's also, we look into sell some of our petroleum products to them. You know, we export everywhere, Langoti told journalists. So, on part of his on his part, Prime Minister Mitchell praised the project, describing it as a significant achievement not only for Nigeria but for Africa as a whole. He also commended the skills, automation, and advanced technology of the 6,500 barrel per day refinery, noting that it was impressive to see young engineers working in the laboratory. So that's your prime minister when he was in Africa. So it appears that things are on the up and up, but there's a lot here to take in. 
and um, you can leave your comments in the section below as to what you think about what was said in the videos. We'll keep a tab on this one for you. All right. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.